Caitlin Clark, of course, has her own economy. She's killing it. There was an amazing um, article that I was reading um, about, you know, the ticket sales for the Indiana Fever. We'll dive into that a little bit. Hey, we've had some we've had some uh, conversations about Pistol Pete in the past and how he yeah. averaged uh, 37 shots a game. And he shot 18 free throws a game. And that's how he got to 43 points a game. So <laughs> we've had, <laughs> so we've, we've had, uh, we, this is what I want people to know. We are very critical of the game of basketball. So we will talk about any and every creed and any and every generation. So it's not skewed towards, we may not like something that happened a long time ago. We'll also speak to something we don't happen in present day game. We'll also speak to our errors and the things that we didn't like. So in saying all that, uh, Pistol Pete was a once in a generation uh, talent and he had a record we thought would never be broken. And there's an opportunity that it could be broken two times in the same decade. And it's coming. We're speaking about Women's History Month. Yes, ladies and gents, I hate to be the one to put the ketchup in your spaghetti but we wouldn't be living by our title of point forward if we didn't put y'all on game and let y'all know how we're going to forecast all of this record-breaking that's happening within the next, oh, half decade, next five years. So, E.T., we had a, a pretty cool article, a Medium article released February 26th of this year, projected Caden Clark will finish her career with around 3,744 points based off her analytical numbers through her college career. Caitlin averaged 26.6 points per game as a freshman. And we're talking about the record being broken by Caitlin. But the other female we're talking about is Juju Watkins from USC, who's averaging over 28 points per game with less than a month remaining. And in the last month, she's been averaging 31.2 points per game compared to Caitlin's current season average of 32.2 points per game. So Juju is currently projected to finish her freshman year with 818 points, which in comparison to Caitlin Clark's freshman year of 799 points. And so we're talking about this record being broken um, and this moment that Caitlin is having. E.T., that was a dope Nike ad we saw where Caitlin is shoot. Oh, t- tell us about this um this oh, ad Nike did. In yeah. the beautiful city of Iowa City, Iowa, they uh they did a Nike ad once she uh, broke the record. So it's a picture of her shooting on a building across the street. And it's yep. like a big just a big old like picture of her shooting a jumper and then literally like a half block down, it's a picture of the rim. And it's saying this was never a long shot. I think that's a wavy ad. I feel like that is pretty crazy. I was like, damn, if you're not a Cable Clark fan, you got to be a Cable. Like, if Nike's doing it, it's crazy. You know what I mean? I, I, we're going to keep it to about Caitlin. Because what went off in my mind is I felt like they had this for Steph, but they lost. <laughs> but, but we, <laughs> we're going to make it. We keep it about Caitlin. Um, you know, I did just talk to Steph, which is interesting. Uh, you know, they're doing it next year. Um, Steph versus Sabrina, but I think they might add that not that Steph told me this, but there's been talks about adding uh, a Caitlin and then adding another guy from the league. You got to add Damian Lillard, bro. Thank you. I said the same exact thing. When you break that, I think it's going to be lit. It's super cool that she's leaving. Yeah. It's just even crazier when you break it down. You might, how the women's <laughs> game is going. Right. We're getting to this point now where like, the momentum is super crazy. You're following up with like heavy hitter, with heavy hitter. We're going back into it and saying like, yo, Caitlin just broke Pistol Pete's like 56 year record. And now we're about to have a guard that's only 18 still out of South Carolina, Juju Watkins, about to come up and be able to do the same thing. I feel like, I feel like women's sports is just OD for taking over right now. Uh, I was just saying like, I'm, I'm kind of shocked. Juju's averaging 28, G. I guess she's probably going to put up 4,000 points. And I will, when we, we're going to take a big portion of one of these episodes this month to speak to um, how Juju's game is different to me. Because Juju can shoot it, but Judy's midi and Juju being able to get to a spot in a shot, it's uh, the longevity of her game. We speak to that a lot. You know, how long can your game last? Like, you can't keep Juju. You can't run her off the line. She get into her spots. She can get to the rack. She's strong. She got a Crazy ISO game. We talk about her mellow 
presence on the ISO, on the wings, and she's going to learn how to play in the post. Like, it's dangerous. It's looking very, very dangerous. And I was looking because I look how like how great Kaylin is right now, but even with Juju, I remember my friend Anna saying, like, oh, I heard she could probably <laughs> play in the league now. And I was like, but there's no way a 17-year-old girl can play in the WNBA. You know, if you look at how she scored at this point, dog, it's almost like, the, should she stay in college? Yeah. She's put up 50, 40, 40, 50. She's in turn 19. She's in turn 19 until the summer, bro. <laughs> That's crazy. And she, and like, when she killed the kid, the little girl, Paul, uh, from the point guard from Colorado, she was like mm-hmm. the female Pat Beverly. She gave her 42 on the road, dog. And I'm talking about, like, this is the best. Besides Hannah Hidalgo, I'll say, bro, old girl is one of the better defenders in the country. I'm talking mm-hmm. about in her mitt, the gave mm-hmm. her 42. That's a hell of a comparison. <laughs> so there's, and with the article from, um, with the article earlier that we were talking about, they were saying the reason why they believe that Caitlin record could be beaten by Juju Watkins within, you know, 2027 is because compared to her freshman numbers, if she scored the exact same Every single year and, pl- and didn't even get better by the numbers, she would legit probably outbeat her. I think she'll fall 220 points short. And then all she needs is like postseason season games. And that'll take like eight or, you know, eight or nine games over a mm-hmm. four year period. Yeah. I so saw, if she I don't saw get that. better. Yeah. If she don't get better. So she's averaging 28 right now. If she doesn't mm-hmm. get better, she'll finish her four years down 220 points. If she does get better like Caitlin did, and I think they're saying Caitlin's <laughs> points each year rose like by 3%. She'll probably, you know what I mean, finish her, you know, her few years with only needing like three or four more games or play, you know, postseason games to really break it. That's does, crazy, bro. Does Caitlin have a That's year crazy. of eligibility left too? Yeah, but she decided to leave. So. Right. So I'm thinking about that as well. And would Juju leave early? And I just found this out. USC has the best um, incoming class next year, recruiting class, female basketball. So they got three like phenoms coming in. Bro, so I'm, no. I'm asking because Caitlin's team may be tailored to Caitlin putting up 40, 50. But when you add in all Americans, you add in superstars. I'm talking about one class removed, not one or two classes behind you. Not like you're a junior and there's freshmen or, you know, you're a senior and there's sophomore and freshmen. It's like we're talking about Juju being a sophomore and she got some she got some superstars as freshmen. How yeah, does that change your game to win as well? Do you score less to win a championship? You know what I mean? Like, I'm just thinking about all that. I know that's real, but I think also, too, that's saying, like, less to win a championship. They're top 10. You feel me? Like, right now. So, I think she's in that ballpark. I think one thing that occurs is uh, there's a show and then there's outputs. <laughs> and the show up and be like, well, you know, she, that girl averaging 28 going to have to give it the rock. It's like, nah, she just set the screen. <laughs> Right. Okay. Get to the back of the bus. I'm gonna give y'all y'all headphones and free Nike shoes at Christmas. Let's let me kill, let me just let me hit my nil bonuses. You know what I mean? <laughs> nil ball. I like, I like straight up. Well, like, so about such and such coming in. Like I average thirty. I just, I've been averaging thirty. Bro, I feel you, but no, that's she's like that. No, no, for sure, for sure. So DraftKings by the numbers, um, hypothetical odds from DraftKings. Question is, will Juju Watkins break Caitlin Clark's all-time scoring record before she finishes college? The odds are yes is plus 300, and a no is at a minus 360, which is the favorite on the odds. Most folks are saying, no, she won't break the record. So this is interesting. I like that bet. I would bet like 2,000 on, on women's sports. I can use that in any argument if I get called sexist. It's like, bro, I just bet $5,000 of my daughter's money on Juju Watkins' success. 